Good morning children today we shall learn about an interesting topic in math which is average this is aman and as in holiday homework he had to finish 30 sums in 3 days so how many sums he needs to solve each day it is simple we divide 30 by 3 so 3 tens are 30 which means he needs to do or he needs to solve 10 sums per day so aman did not do 10 sums per day but he did 8 sums the first day 12 sums the second day and finished 10 sums on the third day the important thing was he was able to complete all the 30 sums in 3 days a boy wanted to save rupees 30 in 5 days to buy a toy and what did he do on the first day he saved rupees 5 the next day he saved 7 rupees the third day he saved 8 rupees the fourth day he was able to save 6 rupees and the fifth day he was able to save 4 rupees and this way in all he was able to save rupees 30 in 5 days now if he had saved equal amount each day what would be it it would be 30 divided by 5 which is equal to 6 so if he was saving equal amount each day he would have saved rupees 6 to make it 30 in 5 days now let's see how he saved on the first day he saved rupees 5 which is one less than the 6 rupees which he needs to save if he was saving equally each day next day he saved rupees 7 then 8 then 6 and then 4 so when he was saving rupees 7 what was he doing he saved 1 rupees extra than the required and this way he was able to make up for 1 rupees which he saved less on the first day so one goes here now coming to the third day he saved rupees 8 which means he saved 2 rupees extra this 2 rupees gets adjusted in the fifth day because on the fifth day he was able to save only 4 rupees and it was sufficient to make it equal to 30 in 5 days so this two moves down to the fifth day and what do we see he was able to save 30 rupees in 5 days and adjusting this way he ensured that the total amount of 30 was saved in 5 days this we can say that the boy saved average of 6 rupees per day how if we add up all the amount of the 5 days it amounts to 30 rupees and number of days in which he was able to collect was 5 so if we divide 30 by 5 it becomes 6 thus he was on an average able to save rupees 6 per day this is known as the concept of average where we take the total amount and divided by total number of days in which he was able to save that amount and this way we came to know that he was able to save an average of 6 rupees per day so let's see how it was done this is the sum of all elements where each element means the number of 
rupees or the amount of rupees saved per days and 5 is the number of elements where it is equal to number of days in which he was able to save this much amount so we added 5 elements 5 rupees on the first day 7 rupees on the second day 8 rupees on the third day 6 rupees on the fourth day and 4 rupees on the fifth day so number of elements is equal to 5 and this is the number of elements and then this is the average we got which is equal to 6 rupees per day now as we saw in the story the fisherman Keshav's average income was 30 rupees per day what did that mean does it mean that he earned 300 rupees exactly per day no sometimes he might have earned less than 300 like say 200 rupees per day or at times he might have earned 400 which is more than 300 per day so what is the average here if we consider the average income per month then we'll take the total earnings of the month and divide it by the number of days in the month so this way he earned an average of 300 rupees per day in the story we saw later Keshav started using a mobile phone to make the deals and this way his average earnings increased how let us see one day he earned 600 another day he earned 400 then he earned 450 and 550 and 500 rupees so these are the earnings for five days now can we figure out what is the average income per day here these are the income which he got per day for the five days now if we add all of these then 0 then 5 plus 5 10 so 0 here and carry over 1 and if we add all this what do we get we get 25 so the total earnings of the five days is equal to 2500 rupees now this much earnings he made in five days so if we need to find out the average income per day we need to divide it by 5 2500 divided by 5 this becomes equal to 5 5 are 25 0, 0. so it becomes equal to 500 so we see the average income per day became 500 you must have understood how to find the average it is equal to sum of all the elements divided by number of elements like we saw in case of Keshav's income for the five days we added all the incomes of the five days and since it was for five days we divided by five and this way we got the average income per day now let us see so average is equal to sum of all elements divided by number of elements so the sum we got as 2500 which we divided by number of elements which were 5 days and this way we got the average income of Keshav as 500 rupees per day so remember average is equal to sum of all elements divided by number of elements understood that's all for now bye bye children